Hey, Mike. What's up, man? We better make sure that we get the description of this beer right. I don't want to get yelled at again. <laughs> <laughs> want to tell that story? We did. We we did Arthur. That is dry hopped, and unfortunately, I think I accidentally put in the description or in the title of the video that was double dry hopped. And Hill Farmstead tweeted back at us, which was like, "Oh my god, they tweeted back at us!" I'm like, "Why they tweeted back at us?" Oh, they're basically calling us idiots. Yeah, they're, they're like, it's not double dry hopped. Like, and, and, and maybe it's just me, or maybe it's just you. The way, like, but the way it was like worded was like very like. I, I, I thought it felt sort of aggressive. It felt aggressive. It felt aggressive. I maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was. Maybe we're just overthinking it. But when you sent it to me and you're like, holy shit, dude, I read it sort of in an aggressive manner. Yeah. Like, I don't know. And I don't. I feel. Like, I feel like we should pull it up right now, and then we can say, you know, we could do like when uh, celebrities read mean tweets. Yeah, but I mean, some of those mean tweets are fucking demented. <laughs> like these aren't even mean tweets. Like the the meaner tweet is the guy saying that you, that I sound like I know what I'm talking about and that you're an idiot or something. <laughs> that that was a mean tweet. Or a YouTube comment, whatever. Here, here, you 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 uh switch it up and you pour first. Okay. It's harder because this is a small can. Yeah, I know. We gotta we gotta figure out how we're actually gonna. Yeah, I have more. You have less. Do the, oh, that's fine. No, 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 I don't care. All right, we got the tweet. So. We I originally said the name of the episode. This was episode seventy. If you guys want to go back and watch it, uh, Nerds and Strengths reviews number seventy. Hill Farm said double dry hopped Arthur, and Hill Farm said responded with at YouTube. Hmm. Yeah. They they instead of they did reply to us, so that's why we got the notification. But they they technically also told YouTube this. Um, hmm. Not double dry hopped. Just dry hopped once. Yeah, see, that sounds insulting. Like, they didn't need to add the once thing. They, they, they could have just said, not double dry hopped, it's just dry... Or, or they could have just said, it's just dry hopped, not double dry hopped. Oh, uh, oh it's my, my not bad. Not once, yeah. Instead of like, fine, fuck, dude. And then apparently I sheepishly like was like, that explains a few things. I was going off what I was told by the procurer of the bottle. I'll update accordingly. Cheers. Yeah, see, maybe I shouldn't even reply to that. Anyways. <sighs> All right, now we have... This here. <laughs> it's called Everett. Yeah, what 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 is this? It's uh I don't think we even said it until we started pouring. <laughs> no. Well, it's an American porter. Uh the description is uh Everett, uh, apparently from ni- uh, born 1908, died 1939, 31 years old. Was our grandfather's brother. Hill Farms and Brewery rests upon the land that was once home to him and his 13 siblings. In his honor, this porter is crafted from American malted barley, English and German roasted malts, American hops, our ye- ale yeast and water from our well. It is sorry, unfiltered and naturally carbonated, decadent in its depth with a complex backbone of chocolate, coffee, and malty sweetness. This is the ale that I dream to have shared with Everett. Seven and a half percent. And if anyone didn't know, they're canning now. So it's dark. Dark brown. <laughs> very, very dark. Yet um Yeah, it does have it's not fully black, I don't think. No. And it's like a like a like a like a nice khaki head. Yep. Actually, uh, it's pretty black. Maybe it is black. Uh, it's dark as fuck. Yeah. We'll it's, dark, it's dark as fuck. Got about a one finger head on each side. Oh, when we first when we first poured it was oh was it fingles, okay? Yeah. I was too busy looking up the mean tweet. Fingles is what I said. Fingles. Fingers. All right. Um, same as yeah. Coffee. What? There's no coffee in it, though. I, I understand, but you're, you're getting you getting a lot of coffee in it. That's part of the dark rose malt. Of course it is. Jesus. I'm just I'm just saying. I don't want you to freak out. I'm gonna because the last beer you're like, God, there's peach in this. You didn't fucking tell me there's peach in this. I literally read this description out loud. Well, <laughs> shit happens. <laughs> um, yeah, you're getting this dark rose malt. You're getting this like in, in real in, in real life. We actually give each other even more shit than we do sometimes on these. Yeah, videos. you just see the shit that we don't that we edit out. <laughs> Like sometimes these videos are like thirty minutes long, and it's just us arguing like 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 we're dating. What? <laughs> we're, we're, no, we're, Wait, we're not an item. Um, yeah, you're getting this like toasty, burnt, like almost like you almost get like, like wood. A, I'm almost getting like a subdued espresso and yeah, like burnt coffee. Yeah, burnt coffee, and like almost like a malty sweetness. Yep. It just smells like like that that like char after a bunch of woods done burning. Yeah, and you get a little bit of. It's like a bunch of woods been done burning, and you dump coffee on the wood. 
a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of chocolate, a little bit of bitterness. But um, I don't get that much chocolate. But if it's chocolate, it's a really dark, dark yeah, chocolate. Yeah. Yeah. Right, good taste. Huh? Cheers. Cheers, sir. A little more subdued than I thought it would be. It's a nice mouthfeel, though. Oh, it's very, very nice. Very creamy. It hides seven and a half percent. Oh, for sure. Yeah, this definitely drinks like a much um, lower percentage beer. But I feel like um, like I'm almost getting like like really dark roasted malt, and a little bit of like you know like like a ninety three percent dark chocolate. You know what I mean? Ninety three percent dark chocolate. Like that a, like, <laughs> like a really dark yeah. dark chocolate. I'm, I'm like not like a Hershey special dark. I mean something that's like legitimately fucked up dark. You get that like super bitter sweetness. Yeah. Um, I'm still getting that like that like charred wood. Mm. And, it, and it's sitting on your tongue. It, like it sits on your tongue for a while. It lingers. Yeah, it mm-hmm. lingers for a while. And you get that. And then I'm getting more. And then bitterness at the very back of my tongue. Not much coffee on the on the, uh, the palate. Mm-mm. No, which is good for you. Probably bad for me. No, I, I, I'm actually cool with it. Like, like I, I was going into this not expecting coffee, so I'm cool with like just I just I just wanted a porter. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I don't know the last time I actually had a porter. Like just a porter, no no frills. Mm. Like without like barrel aid, without coffee in it. Like I'm thinking, like when I think I drink porters all the time, it's like night shift awake. It's you know what I mean? Oh, of course, yeah, yeah. You're getting that like ashy, ashy flavor. That that's what I was that's what I was trying to get across in the nose too. I'm getting that on 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 on, on the multi like an ashiness. Okay. Yeah, the mouthfeel is great though. Like I mm. love the mouthfeel. Like usually with porters, they they can be a little thin. Mm-hmm. This has more, definitely more body than 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 most porters I'm, I'm used to. Mm-hmm. Um, just the lingering bitterness is just. I don't know if it's unpleasant, but I guess it's 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 what I would expect. It's not a it's not unpleasant, but actually I feel like um, it doesn't um, it doesn't. I feel like it, it is distinctly. Um, not incompatible, but it doesn't seem like that's the way it's going to go when you first taste, when you first get in your mouth that, that taste, then all of a sudden it just turns bitter and lingers. Like, yeah. Uh, I feel like at first you almost getting like um, a little more, like it's roasty, but not like, like roasted. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It says, it says backbone of chocolate, coffee and malty sweetness. I, I definitely get like that backbone of like the maltiness, like the bitter chocolate, but I'm not really getting the coffee too much. I mean, either. I and if you're that. not getting the coffee, then like, nope. That's like saying like when it's onions and something. I'm like, I'm not getting any oniony flavor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, it's good. Like I, 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 I do like I've been dying to have like a a, a straight regular um, American, American porter. Like, like I, I feel like we're we're talking a little negative, but I'm actually enjoying it for what it is. Oh no, no, yeah, it's a good beer. Um, what are you thinking? I was thinking three three quarters to a four. Um, yeah, I could do I could do a four. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like, okay. like I have one more can of this. I'm actually I'm actually excited to kind of just have it. Like, I'll just save for like one random winter night. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Like, cool. So let us know in the comments if you've had uh, Hill Farm Seds Everett. Uh, it's been around for a while, so there's a good chance you have. Um, let us know if you get all the stuff that we're getting. Let us know if you're not getting the coffee that we're getting. Maybe the the cans. Uh, it was canned on. Uh, da, 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 da. Nope, no can date. Uh, but this is from a couple months ago, so it is a couple months old. But there's no coffee in it, so it shouldn't have fallen off or anything like that. I don't think. Uh, but anyways, yeah, let us know in the comments. Um, yeah, so Nerd Sense four for Hill Farmsteads Everett. They're seven and a half percent American Porter, and. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. Just subscribe. Just over there, there. There's buttons everywhere. There's buttons to places that'll bring you to different places, and then they'll always have, they'll have subscribe buttons somewhere, somewhere there. And then, um, yeah, nerdsense.net. From there is your jumping point to every place else. And I'm Sean. And I'm Mike. And this, this is Nerd Sense Drinks. Drinks.